guys, so I wanted to talk uh, to you about today about um, exercising in pregnancy. Can you do it or um, how does it look like um, with me? And uh, maybe I can start with that um, as soon as I got pregnant, I went to the doctors and I did ask. That was one of, you can imagine, that it was one of my first questions. Can I still work out? What can I do? Because first and um, most important thing is to consult your doctor, doctor um, because... Um, this is, you need to know, everyone is different, uh, some people can't exercise while pregnant, but um, most of us can. In the UK here, uh, most of the people are advised, or even the doctor or the midwife is trying to really make you, or make you, um, they are advising you always to be active, to, to exercise, to walk. If you haven't exercised before, um, you are advised to maybe start walking, you're not advised to um, to start gym exercising or anything like that so um, for that's for beginning but if you've been working out all your life uh, you can still do whatever you've done until now obviously with like some consciousness that um, with common sense as well and my doctor told me that I can do anything um, I've been doing until now I can jog I can do anything apart from um, diving or um, parachuting which was great news for me but I've noticed quite um, early in pregnancy about seventh week that when I was doing high intensity interval training and when I was doing burpees I think I started feeling a bit dizzy so I stopped doing that so this is as you can see this is common sense this is like uh, what can I do and I've noticed that when I'm do when I'm doing strength training this is when I feel most in control of my body and um, I know no mother, I can tell you this now, no mother wants to harm their baby. So all these people who are always criticizing working out women or doing strength training or anything like that, this is just wrong because no mother wants to harm their baby. And you have to understand that. And um, if you're scared to work out, but I believe that if someone was working out before, they sort of know what they're doing. I know my form is good. I know what I can do. It's like for now, let's say, I still do weight training. So I still do, let's say, let's say squats on the Smith machine. So I used to do it with, let's say, 50 kgs. Now I do it with um, 10 to 20. So the weight is much, much less. Also, if I'm using, um, if I'm using dumbbells, I'm using much less weight. So you have to sort of know your limits because you get out of breath as well quicker in pregnancy. So. You have to observe your body you have to take also longer breaks i believe in in between sets just to get um catch your breath i also been advised um, by a guy at the gym to get the heart rate monitor and i got it because um pregnant women shouldn't uh, be working out over i believe it's 140 beats per minute so it's always worth to, to monitor it um another thing is um yes i've told you about these um about weight training um other than that you can still run you can still i don't know jog but i've noticed that and now that my belly is getting bigger i was running until now and um as a as a warm-up um 10 minutes but i think i'm gonna start walking soon because um i think it's like when you're running on a treadmill it's like when with a bigger belly you might lose balance so you don't want to be doing exercises sometimes they say like you shouldn't be doing lunges because you might sort of lose balance and um, so you have to be careful, you have to sort of know like what you can, what feels comfortable to you and what doesn't. Um, and um, also you shouldn't be doing, they say you shouldn't be doing a uh, laying flat on your back in um, after second trimester because it's something to do with the blood supply or something like that. Also, as a general uh, rule, they say that while you're exercising, you should be able to walk, uh, to walk, to talk normally. And that's when you know that you're doing okay. If you're out of breath, if you can't talk, that is too much. And um, people who have not been exercising before, they should start um, walking at first or doing something, I don't know, something simple like swimming or something like that because uh, you can't jump into from nothing to start, uh, suddenly doing weight training or anything like that. But this is, I believe, common sense as well. And another thing is because I've read books before about fitness, about exercising, and there's always a chapter um, about pregnancy and they say you can still do the same thing, but you have to remember one thing that ex exercising in pregnancy is to man maintain, not to improve. So this is very important. So 
don't sort of set yourself goals or anything like that while pregnant you're just maintaining your health your um, active lifestyle and you're making yourself feel better as well during pregnancy not like you're not setting yourself goals and reaching them while pregnant you're just making it easy for yourself and um, not to sort of lose this um, active lifestyle so I think this would be it guys let me know what you think because I know there's loads of controversy <laughs> about all this working out in pregnancy but I think it is they say it's really good for, for you and for the baby there's more oxygen for the baby there is also um, bigger placenta that means um, more nutrients to the baby so think about it there's so many benefits of working out while pregnant uh, so I don't see unless your doctor um, advises you against it I don't see the reason why you shouldn't do it so this is it for today uh, I hope you enjoyed the video please subscribe and I'll see you next time bye bye